This is State of Decay 2, we're on Xbox Series X, so the game actually did get a surprise optimization added to it. So that includes a 60 FPS, so existing wise on 1X we were getting a dynamic 4K, so it should be a native 4K here I would expect with possible uh, resolution dips maybe being visible. It does also have HDR support, which is kind of cool. And that's really the details I have available in regards to the improvements on this one. There might have been other slight adjustments, but uh, that seems to really be what is present here in the game. So this is a very interesting title. This is kind of like a really great zombie survival management type game. Uh, it's definitely a little bit different than what you might be used to for zombie survival games. I actually kind of find it really fun. And it's got co-op play, and it didn't necessarily run the best on the, the 1X back in the day. But yeah, it's uh, a lot smoother now, which is really quite cool. So you've got your like little camps and stuff like that, and you kind of deal with your different survivors. You've got like a group and a crew, and you kind of build up your different... Um, you know your area and stuff like that you improve it with different things that you find uh, it, it's very interesting I actually quite like the series and I'm eagerly awaiting to see what they do with the next one that follows so you kind of go through because State of Decay 3 is already confirmed as coming and they've teased it but we'll have to see when they do that so you kind of just go around uh, collecting resources there are you know like quests and stuff like that available within the game which is kind of cool and you get different like abilities just kind of showing off a little bit of the the fluidity and stuff like that of the game it just kind of runs a lot faster than well i mean the fluidity right runs a lot faster than back in the day which is kind of neat Ooh, ah. so you can also use different vehicles uh, lots of different areas to visit it's pretty expansive and they did some dlc content that kind of expanded things further which is kind of cool uh, it's also a very intense game, just in terms of, like, the content within it, because you can sort of die on a dime, if that makes sense. Like, things could be all good, and then two seconds later, you're just dying, and it's not great at all. But yeah, just, like, the fluidity and stuff definitely feels a lot better. And then you've got your, like, group of characters, and you can go out together and scavenge in different ways. It's, uh, it's interesting. I did a lot of, I guess you could say... Uh, videos on this one before it released. I, I did some guides actually on how to do certain things in here. So that was kind of cool. And it's just like lots of different things you can do within the game, which is interesting. You know, and lots of different places you can go to, different things you can scavenge, resources you can find, and different types of zombies to take on. Uh, they're not always necessarily easy zombies. You get different types, which are a lot more, you know, hostile and definitely out to get you. I don't want to draw too much delays, because, you know, that brings in a lot of the undead, which is not good, but we'll just do fast searching, because I don't really care. But, yeah, that's generally what the game is, is going around finding these things, working together. Oh, there you go. Good job, AI. And it's just got some neat co-op elements, and I really do hope that, you know, with the next entry that we see, uh, even more intensity in regards to, like, the claw play and everything like that because I think the series has a lot of potential and I think it really gets overlooked from a lot of people and I really have enjoyed it even since the first one where things didn't necessarily run the best uh, needless to say uh, they definitely were could have been a lot uh, smoother even go back to the remastered what well, i don't know if it was remastered at this point but the enhanced or whatever edition they did of the first game and it's like it, it, it's a lot better but you know still not quite there yet which is tiring but okay oh well, i've got our guns i'm just trying to think about where i have a vehicle present that i can actually show off the the driving portion of that because that's usually one of the harder parts of this Remap your controls and stuff like that. You can see where things are going. Okay, and then the video settings, I guess, you know, that's kind of just what's options that are present. Uh, but yeah, let's go find a vehicle somewhere. Sorry, I don't know where I have any vehicle placements. Toggle Legend. Uh, I think we just gotta kind of look around. Sorry about that, I should have a vehicle ready, but I wasn't really thinking about it. 
too much. But yeah, it's just kind of a cool, really lovely game. Like, it's just really large in scope. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. That guy really wanted to get in there and uh, cause some problems for me. That's not good. It's like we got a, a horde of zombies over there, too, so that's not fun at all. But yeah, it's just got some really neat kinds of, like, combat and style to the gameplay that I find kind of fun. You know, it's, it's definitely a little bit um, different. But that's really what I want to get across, is that the game feels a little bit different. And it's actually got, like, a pretty interesting way that it handles the story and the characters and how you can kind of, I guess you could say, re-roll what you're doing, if that makes sense. Like, you can kind of go to different areas and do, like, a bit of a refresh. It's, it's just very interesting. I don't want to really hit that door hard with the, uh, with the zombies over there, if you know what I mean. And there's like survey sites you can go to and then there's like a little bit of a, a detail with like the military but you really got to watch out for these there's like these swarm nests and stuff those places are always uh, a little bit dangerous you don't want to deal with them because I, I went back into this game a little bit ago so that i could do it like part of my game pass uh suggestions list that i do every month i thought that was kind of fun oh my guy's getting like tired that's not good uh, community uh, might need to swap this up with somebody that's a little bit more yeah a little less tired we're gonna have to we're gonna have to head back to base that's not good oh geez it's one of those things uh, I got a bad feeling about that but I just love how it's running ooh, ooh. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to crouch around here. Yeah, that didn't work out. Yeah, you got this, man. We're going to have to get back to base because I'm going to pass right out. I didn't realize that my bar had been going that low. Uh-oh. We've got a horde here. That's not good at all. Don't really want to deal with them. They're a, they're a small horde, though, but, you know, like a small horde can be deadly to a tired <laughs> survivor, if you know what I mean. Well, I mean, if you played the game before, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I, I get what this guy's talking about. Because, you know, you just get torn apart and, like, literally, like, viciously killed and your character's just gone. <laughs> so that could be a real tiring pain having to deal with that because once you're once you're dead you're dead and you have to find new people and your society gets like cut down it's uh it's an inconvenience needless to say definitely a bit of an inconvenience okay yeah i know you gotta rest that's why we're getting back to the base jeez just kind of really lovely running like this really blown away by it <laughs> It's a nice little upgrade, because I wasn't expecting the game to get boosted. Like, it definitely wasn't on my list of anticipated options, that's for sure. Okay, great, there we can go. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll abandon that, I don't need that mission anyways. Survivor has Blood Plague, that's terrible. Let's just go into our supplies cache here in order to... Uh, grab some extra tools. She looks pretty well rested. We need some bullets for my gun. Hmm. Muzzle, excess muzzle accomplishments. Interesting, 45, 9mm rounds. Uh, yeah, let's equip that. There we go, and then we got a little bit of ammo and stuff. We definitely need to uh, find some more weapons. Oh, come on, you can't just jump down. But you can see, like, we've kind of improved. Well, I've improved the camp a little bit. You know, we got, like, a little bit of a medical area. You know, we've got, like, this green space set up so you get food. Blood plague. Blood plague. You change their clothes and stuff, which is kind of funny. And it's just, like, uh, little weird things you can do right that with your group and stuff like that and you can see your base and you get to manage all of these different elements of what's kind of going on there I, I think we've well at least i've set up a, a pretty good 
you know, kind of coordinated group in regards to my team and that. Uh, we've definitely survived for a while, uh, I'd like to say. I mean, definitely remember moving up to this area. You can see the grass kind of blowed in there a little bit. You hide it decently well. Anybody listening out there? Use a hand. Oh, a looter could use a hand. Could they? Are they a good looter or a bad looter? That's the question. And then you use your influence, of course, to build up uh, new spawns, take control of new areas, uh, venture outwards, see new things, discover what the world has to offer. I guess I could use maybe pills on that other guy. But yeah, it, it can get like really tense when you're dealing with a lot of zombies. Oh, geez, that's a, that's a bit of a nasty patrol over there. Definitely don't want to deal with those guys. But we could deal with this guy with a little bit of stealth. I don't know if we're showing off exciting enough gameplay, but I'm just trying to give you a good idea of really how it's running and stuff like that. Which is really quite neat. Definitely wasn't anticipating this upgrade for the game. So it was kind of fun seeing those little surprises show up. Uh, especially at the release, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Small guys are pretty tough too, if you know what I mean. They're just kind of like, um, I don't know, they got like the armor. It makes them a little bit harder to hit, which makes them in turn a little bit deadlier. Okay, we really don't want to alert the horde. Oh, that's a very effective bat. We haven't explored this area? I thought we had it, because we had it all secured and stuff. Oh, he's not dead yet. Site not secure. I really thought we had that area safe. Feral. If he leaps on me, I'm fucked. That's true. You know how those ferals are. We're all clear. Hopefully, we're starting a trend. Seriously, I wonder why this. Like, I clearly remembered going back and like, well, not going back, but doing all this. Uh, when the game is out and stuff, getting my aerial scavenged, so it's kind of weird that everything seems to have, like, progress-wise reset here. It's a little bit interesting. But yeah, you don't want to really deal with the feral, because it's a little bit more hardcore. I mean, you can destroy it and stuff, like, it wouldn't be the biggest deal. I've got guns and I've got a teammate. <laughs> but you know what I mean, it's kind of better just to uh, let it do its thing just wander down the middle of the street. Oh yeah, and you improve your characters by doing stuff too, just by like wandering around. So I've got that house scavenged. Do we have this one done? That is the big question. And I hope you also noticed at the beginning, in case like it wasn't clear by having that, the loading is way, 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 way quicker. <laughs> Come on, get up there. There we go. I thought this was going to be a pain and I had to make noise. Tuba fireworks, let's uh, let's take it. You never know when this stuff might come in handy, you know, you collect the resources and stuff, you get out there, you survive the apocalypse a little bit better. The only problem with the fast search is you might uh, basically alert zombies and stuff, which is not the best. Looks like nobody else is home. Let's see what we find. We're down here. Pack of hygiene stuff, nice. So you could claim the outpost. We don't have any more outpost slots available, but... Um, yeah, just kind of like increasing your influence, if that makes sense. Building up your your squad of survivors and trying to get out there on the, the journey of zombie life. So we got like a shack. Why is this showing up as like a building? It's just like a shack thing. Oh, what do we got here? We've got supplies. That's piece nice. of chemicals right on. So you never know what you're gonna find or how you're gonna boost your different survivors. And I think that's kind of the fun of uh, State of Decay. It's just going around and trying to survive. It's a management game that you can take a lot of time playing and really spend a lot of time enjoying if it's your sort of thing. It's just again a, a very different sort of zombie survival game. It, it's not quite like the others, and I think that makes it a little bit more fun, the fact that you go around scavenging, looting, and you're not necessarily... Uh, well, you're trying to build up a, a strong base and group of survivors, but you're not just like doing a story or something like that. There's a story and extra content that keeps the experience going for, you know, extended hours of time. Like, there's a whole huge world that you can 
really go and explore in different areas and you can like go off and yeah it's just it's got a lot of content it's pretty fun state of decay 2 series x